imagine I made history regardless of whether you think of how I play I made history the number one draft pick was out of high school black man never mentioned on the breakfast club until he spoke about some sort of go along get along game and I was arguing with two bitch ass niggas and somehow that was enough to get me mentioned on the breakfast club not because of what I did for my mama not because of what I was doing in the community not to be an inspiration to these black children that was in the homeless shelter in a free lunch program like me see it ain't about no motherfucking game giving these kids inspiration ain't no game whether I score one point or a hundred million points a game it's inspiration to a boy that ate free lunch I made it on the breakfast club when I said go along get along and look at the way that brother made me look on the breakfast club for the first time still think I'm lying I did not even know how my what my father did to go to prison I told you I had a good mom it wasn't until I was later on in life that I was a teenager she told me where my daddy was she never described to me what my daddy did why would a mother do that mister I got away with it why the fuck would you do that and then now your bitch ass asking me to go on the breakfast club is that like a new thing to be a condescending disrespectful bitch and then ask somebody to come talk to you who the fuck you think I am bitch ass boy Y'all could put out the narrative, I'm so hurt, I'm so this. I wasn't saying shit. I got to be the most quietest hurt nigga I ever seen in my life. I'm so wrong, but a black man got on TV and the first time a number one draft pick with all these accomplishments, the first time they mentioned my name on a platform that branches out to so many people, the first time you mention Kwame Brown is to attach him to death and murder that even I wasn't aware of. Thank you, Charlemagne. I never even met my brother uh, that my, my dad had outside kids on my mama. I never even met him, sir. So thank you. Thanks for telling me the gory details of how he died too, sir. Appreciate you. But you don't dox black men. Thanks for telling the uh, society that somehow, because I talk back and I joke better than two little bitches that you like, somehow you had to tell people that being a bus made me snap. And somehow now uh, I'm crazy and look out for Mr. Brown because don't bother him because his daddy and brother are murdered. All the while, that light-skinned bitch you like with the uh, Becky with the blonde hair or the good hair, all the while he online inviting me to his dick, acting like this bitch-ass nigga want a box. But I'm the aggressor. Look at the stories they putting out. I'm the aggressor. I'm just hurt. I'm just. I'm just disgruntled. I miss the NBA. Bitch, I don't miss shit. When the last time y'all heard or seen of old bust ass Kwame Brown? I can see to the fact that I'm a bust. I haven't been arguing with you bitches about nothing. I'm not going around the world saying, hey, I'm not a bust. What you think? Hey, I'm not a bust. I don't understand this weak ass argument. I told you, you punk bitches is easy to beat because you're stupid as fuck. You're stupid. You fucking with a nigga that don't need you. You fucking with a nigga that own land. And this bitch ass nigga happy cause he's standing in pictures with other niggas. He happy cause he on a TV show falling to goddamn sleep. You happy. <laughs> yeah. Y'all niggas silly man. It's sick. It's sick the way y'all think. And this is how they've controlled the narrative every time. Instead of y'all doing a little bit of research, it's the peanut gallery. LeVar Ball, he's known now as a crazy man. He's crazy for speaking about his son in a way that's beautiful. 
He's manifesting that his sons are the best players. They're better than MJ. Why the, what the fuck are they supposed to say? A man, if a woman had two kids, especially three, that's pro. Don't you think you'll highlight that story and say she's a good mama? But an outspoken, because he's an outspoken man, and you don't like something he say, this man got three kids in professional basketball. Three. He don't get no highlight. You don't say he a great guy. You say he crazy. But then somehow Kwame wrong. Y'all want to make this about me. I got example after example. Derrick Rose dropped 50 points. Highlight. The man battled through adversity, battled through the slums, battled through the hard streets of Chicago. Battled through injuries, battle-tested warrior, young black lion. Came back from a horrific knee injury, playing well later on in his career. What did Rachel Nicholson bring up that had nothing to do with that young man's success? Still think I'm lying? Kwame Brown is known as a bus. Scalabrini is known as the white mamba. Still think I'm lying? See, y'all easy to beat. Cause the facts are right there in front of you. Y'all fucking with AI and this Stephen A bitch was AI friend. And he was the main one that could have got in contact with AI to stop that story that they made this man look like an idiot. A man who busts his ass, works so hard, one of the legends. And in one instant, he's made to look like he's not dedicated to the game when his friend get, in, get murdered. And now he's known all over the world. And y'all play a little clip. You talking about practice. You talking about practice. You guys are sick in the media. You're sick. John Mayer was right. When you control the information, you can bend it all you want. See, y'all tried to make this about two punk ass bitches. But see, I'm not dumb like them little punks. I'm gonna take, y'all gave me a platform, thank you. Thank you, two dumb bitches, when all y'all had to do was apologize to a man. See, see, y'all think Stephen Jackson is a hell of a nigga, but Stephen Jackson proved my motherfucking point. He said my life was dirt, my life was over, and it's the same nigga out with his fist in the air talking about black pride, black unity. Now, you think that coward bitch would talk to a retired white man like that? You think that coward-ass bitch would talk to a white man like that? I don't think so. We the easiest targets in the world, a black man. You try to control every aspect of our lives, whether it be through our women kicking us in the ass, the media kicking us in the ass, the police, they already come with a different level of aggression to kick you in the ass, so you gotta be smart. Because when the media put out this shit about you, of course they gonna look at you like you need to be kicked in the ass. And some of you play right into their hands. You still think I'm crazy? You still wanna make it about me? When y'all got Carmelo Anthony a few years ago begging for a job, Still think I'm crazy. <laughs> Y'all funny.